How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how you can use ExpressVPN on your Mac. Now I am on Windows, but it's pretty much the same thing, whether you're on Windows or Mac, it is the same interface, exactly the same. So as you can tell right here, we've got ExpressVPN and it's very straightforward with regards to using ExpressVPN. So as you can tell, you do have the on and off button, which you can use and um, obviously it's just going to give you the smart location when you first install your VPN. But I'm pretty sure you want to be a little bit more selective about your server. So if you want to, for example, connect to a US server in order to access US Netflix, what you're going to need to do is go to all locations, Americas, United States, and pick one of these. Let's just go with Chicago. And I'll go ahead and just either double click or you can select it and then turn on the uh, button right here and you'll be good to go. So this is one method of operating the VPN. It's one of the easiest VPNs to use out there and there's nothing complicated about it. Turn off, turn on. You had your shortcuts right here, as you can tell, which you can set through the options and go to shortcuts and set all these shortcuts up and they will show up right here when you turn on the VPN. You have your browser extensions right here, which you can just get right away by clicking this uh, link right here or clicking this button. In advance, you have nothing to worry about right here unless you wanna opt out of sharing crash reports, which never contain personally identifiable information. Anyways, you have a bunch of protocols. I recommend Lightweight UDP for the fastest connection, or you can just stick to automatic. That is also a good option. And in general, you just wanna know what these are about. You have some startup options, which are up to your preference. You have the network lock. It's pretty much a kill switch, so it will kill your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. Otherwise, you'll just be disconnected to prevent any IP leaks. And you have split telling, which will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So this is also a very useful feature. You can like select a couple of applications right here or add another from your control panel or add another with this button. And when you click OK and turn on your VPN while split telling is still on, you'll be able to use the VPN, but only on the selected applications, or you can do it the other way around where only the selected applications will bypass the VPN tunnel. And once you've kind of reached this understanding of what ExpressVPN is about, uh, this is where you can make your decision. Do you want your kill switch to be on? Are you in a censorship heavy country? Do you want to just make sure that you're never connected to the internet uh, when you're not secured by the VPN? You can keep it on. Do you want split tunneling? Which protocol do you want to use? Is it automatic? Lightweight UDP is the fastest one, so I'll just go with that. Uh, do you want to add any uh, shortcuts right here, or are these enough? Okay, now that you're good, just click OK. Go to a VPN location that you're looking for, maybe Europe, maybe whatever it is. You've got over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, and you'll be able to share the same account on eight different devices simultaneously. So that is pretty much it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. And of course, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about ExpressVPN, you'll find the full review down below, as well as a link to the pricing and discounts if you want to jump straight to that. And there's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive ExpressVPN for 30 days risk free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and services security. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.